All right, I'm leaving the hub. It's early. We started early though. Uh, we came in at this is Monday, uh, so we started at 4:45, 16:45 p.m. Wow, the parking lot's empty. It is like just after 10, like 10:07 10 or something like that. Which you guys know, normally I'm here until 11 o'clock at night, which I don't have a problem with because that's a fatter check, right? But I started early. We start. We all did uh, the. Uh, uh, twilight shift we started at 4 45 p.m so on the clock when i hit the clock to clock out it said five hours and 21 minutes was the time that i worked which is cool i'm cool with that um i wish it was six hours and 21 minutes which is, it typically is when i stay on bulk but i i am tired today so it's cool I don't mind going home on a Monday a little earlier. I gotta stop at the market anyways and get some stuff, supplies, stuff like that. So I'm just gonna grab my uh, I always change my shoes. You wanna have your feet to be as relaxed and comfortable as possible because that makes a big difference on stress on your body. So relax your feet. Something I learned in the Marine Corps take care of your feet they, you, you're on them all day so make sure you take care of your feet and uh, so okay let me tell you what happened today the only reason the main reason I'm making this video is uh, I was on unload the whole shift which is that's what I was hired to do was be an unloader so I don't have a problem with that because I'm actually I like being an unloader I like I prefer working on the bulk side but I don't have a problem working as an unloader. That's what I was hired to do and I have no problem with it. It's actually fun. Bulk is funner, more fun. Funner is not a word, is it? More fun. Um, so I didn't know, I never know when I show up if I'm gonna be bulk or unload. For a long time, like for a whole like month, I was going to bulk just reporting directly there or just re reporting to unload and then after like 30 minutes or so then they'll say go to bulk um, and that's typically my day and then I'll stay until 11 which makes it better because then your checks fatter and I like one thing I like about bulk is that you work at your own pace uh, unload side you're gonna be expected to meet the packages per hour demand uh, which I have no problem doing but it's something you have to gear up for you have to be ready for that packages per hour demand you know so what else what else okay so this is what happened I stayed on unload and they assigned me to a trailer which is typical, right? They're like, go to this trailer, do this. And I'm like, all right, cool, let's do it. So I get in the trailer, it's a 53 footer. It's one of the longer trailers. I'm doing my job and they send over somebody. And I noticed by her uniform that she's a supervisor and she introduces herself. She's cool, she's friendly and all that and professional. And she says, hey, my name is Lisette and I'm here to work with you because I had to stay over. And she told me why. She's like, better, right? She's like, um, she's getting more hours and more experience or something like that. I can't remember exactly everything she said, but ultimately she's basically working more hours. And she was approved to do that. The supervisors, they have like a, they have like a maximum that they're allowed to do weekly, like hourly, hours wise. Like they can, they're supposed to not work more than 27 hours a week. And I guess that's just the way it is when you get a supervisor job at UPS. Like again, I've said it before and I'll say it again. 
uh, supervisors at UPS, they work hard, they do their job, and they get 26 bucks an hour to start. I don't know how their raises work and all that. They're not part of the union, which is kind of a bad deal as far as I'm concerned, because you don't have the union protections, which I think are important. They do get the option to opt in or buy into their medical, dental, and vision, but it comes out of their paycheck. They have to pay for the insurance. They get some kind of a supplement or a, there's a deal with it, but it's not as good as the regular union worker, like a package handler, right? We get no copay, zero copay. You go to the hospital for the emergency room or the urgent care or doctor's visits, stuff like that, zero copay. And you get uh, very, very little taken out of your paycheck. One of the drivers told me that um, his wife was diagnosed with cancer, which is very serious. And you know, it took a long time to get treatments and recovery. And he goes, I didn't have to pay anything. He goes, so there's a huge benefit right there to being in the union and being with being as a employee like a package handler or driver or whatever because you're not a supervisor I don't know that's just the way now if you want to be a supervisor I'm not trying to talk you out of it go ahead and do it they make pretty good money I mean it's not bad 26 an hour it's okay but again like I'm telling you there's a limit they can only work 27 hours a week if that's good for you, you're still making $26 an hour and you're still working 27 hours a week. If you if you can live on that, go, go right ahead. More power to you. Uh, I don't want to do it. Okay, so this person that I worked with today, she's a supervisor. She's like, I'm going to work with you and I'm not going to stay that long because I've been here since 11 in the morning. She goes, I am one of the uh, day sort supervisors. And she's, the, she's a training supervisor. So her job is to train new people when they get hired and she gets them squared away as far as making sure that they know what they're supposed to know and then she takes them out to the areas to do the loading training and unloading training and she mostly does unloading training that's her area um, she gets them set up over there in the unload area and she shows them how to unload how to use the extendo which is the conveyor system it's automatic it goes up and down and forward and back she teaches them how to use that to, to be a help to save yourself working harder and, and your saves your back and how to use the stand if you're too short to reach the top when the packages are stacked high which they are stacked high all the time um, so she goes over that stuff she gets her group and she's typically I guess the groups are larger on those hours like they're like getting six and seven people eight people uh, a week starting whereas on Twilight we get three people four people I seen as little as two people. When I started, it was six. I saw another group start with six. This t today, I saw another group start. I don't know how many. I didn't get a chance to count, but it wasn't that many. It's always six or less on uh, Twilight. I don't know why schedules or maybe people don't like to be up until 10:30 at night or 11 at night. I don't know. Or they, whatever. I don't know why, but typically I don't see more than five or six people, and I see people every week starting at this job. I gotta get this fixed. So, um, she worked with me for about, let's see, she left at 7.30. So we started at 4.45, but she didn't actually come over to where I was at. She was already on the clock. She didn't come over to where I was at until like 5.15 or something like that. She stayed with me until 7.30 and then she had to go home. We worked well together. She knows how to do her thing. She's, that's her job. One thing I, I, I'd say is she's, it's challenging when you're short. She's five foot three. She might, she may weigh 130 pounds soaking wet. So she's not a large person. She's a normal sized person for her height. Five foot three, 130 pounds. That's very uh, normal, healthy weight. Um, and like again, she knows what she's doing. So I asked her a bunch of questions about the company because she's been there longer than me. And she said, she goes, yeah, I've been here nine months. So she hasn't quite got a year on yet. Um, and you know, we talked about she wanted to become a supervisor she talked to me about that she basically was saying um, that she she needed the opportunity because she wanted the money and I understood I and mean, she's a young person she's very young under 25 I don't know exactly her age but she's under 25 for a fact 
most of the supervisors I ran into here, the majority, the vast majority of them are under 25. That is a fact. They're all very young. Some of them are like a year out of high school and they're supervisors. This is their first job or first full-time job or not even, it's not even full-time. They're all part-timers, but it's their first important serious job. Instead of like maybe being a senior in high school and you work part-time, which, you know, if you're, if you're a high school student, there's by law, they can only allow you to work 15 hours a week because you're a student. So, um, she um, is young, but she wants to work. And I don't know her status, if she's married, single, kids. I don't know all that. I didn't ask all that's all her personal business. But uh, she told me a little bit about her background with UPS. She started in, at the Anaheim Hub and as a package handler, like, like what I do, unloader. And she liked it and she did well with it and she stuck it out and passed her probation, which is, you know, the 70 days. And you have a soft probation, which is 30 days. That's, that's kind of like to see if it's it's a good fit for you. The company sees if you're a good fit for them. They check, they're checking your attendance those first 30 days. If you don't have any attendance issues those first 30 days, the company is satisfied that, okay, you can show up to work and be reliable. And then you are looking at the company to say, can I handle this kind of workload? Is this something I see myself doing? year after year kind of thing so it's a soft probation those first 30 days then you go through the first 45 days which is are you going to be a safe worker are you safely working not injuring yourself or others are you using the equipment properly is your training being applied that you learned those are the first 45 days and i got a certificate of safe like i'm a safe worker that's pretty cool not everybody got that i found out later i thought everybody got it but they observe you and they go this guy is safe you know so like, I guess they think I'm a safe guy because I got a certificate. Um, then 60 days in, there's another thing. I don't know exactly what it is. Then 70 days in, you, your probation is complete. You are fully in the union. You've paid all your dues, $200 initiation fee, and then you only pay $29 a month after that. Um, so I've already passed all that. And then now I'm at that point where I'm going to be a 90-day employee. Like, So what happens if... This is what this girl told me in the supervisor today. She says, when you hit your 90 days, that's when you're gonna get your t-shirt and you're gonna get like something else, like an acknowledgement saying you've been here 90 days or more with no incidents, no safety problems, no attendance issues, and you're good to go. You're you're one of the club, even though you're already, already in the club, you get a, a union t-shirt, local uh, 396, Teamsters, we get a we get a T-shirt, and uh, that's that's kind of cool. That, I'm looking forward to that actually, actually because it's like a little uh, milestone. And then the Teamsters is a good union; they're a strong union. They've been around a long time. Jimmy Hoffa, you guys know that. If not, look it up YouTube. Jimmy Hoffa is the guy that started the Teamsters union, one of the one of the OG unions in the United States. Been around forever. They're one of the stronger unions. There's other unions. There's Local 18, the Brotherhood of Electrical Workers (IBEW). They're supposed to be really good. Local 18 and then Local 396, which is Teamsters. Um, big, big uh, history with the United States. Uh, so all that being said, what else? Um, so we work together, we're doing our thing. I noticed that she got tired, but she's been here since 11 and uh, she was getting a little winded because of these boxes. But when you're a supervisor, you don't have to do that physical labor so they don't get used to it anymore so she had those muscles aren't ready like they used to be so now I noticed because she goes this is heavy and it's getting I'm getting tired I go yeah you got to pace yourself because it's going to be four and a half five hours for, at least for me she was only there for a couple hours and she, she was like she was good to go she did her job she was no, you know, no problems she was ready to go home at 7 30 she was like I'm done all yours Brian I was like no problem and I just knocked out my job and did my thing. But I give her a lot of credit for being a five foot three, 130 pound person. I'm not even gonna use gender, it's just person who can handle that kind of work because it's not easy. It's not easy for, I'm six feet tall and I weigh 225 and it's not easy. It's, it's not, it's, you get used to it, it's not that hard either at the same time. People will complain, I'm like, I don't understand that, but it's not that bad <laughs> it's a good job so anyways 
I asked her a lot of questions because I, you know, I was talking to her about drivers helper, and she's like, she didn't know a whole lot about it. And here's the thing, she's only got nine months. She's been most of that has been here as a supervisor. I think that she got promoted and then shifted or uh, transferred over here from her old hub, which is Anaheim. So total time she was over there um, at Anaheim, I think four or five months, and then promoted, and then she came over here for the last four months or five months or so. So a total of nine months total with the company. Some of that was at Anaheim, some of that is over here on you know, La Mirada Hub. Um, and so she didn't, she, you know, nobody knows everything. I don't know everything. You could be here two, three years and you don't know everything. So she was like, I don't know everything about driver helper, although I do know that they do it this time of season, this time of year, and then, you know, especially because of peak. And then she's like, I don't know about the raises. I don't know how much money you guys are going to make. She didn't know all those things. So I didn't really, you know, and it's okay. Supervisor doesn't mean you know everything. Um, she, her job is to be the training supervisor. So she takes new people and trains them per the standards that are presented to her by the supervisors above her, the management's above her. They're telling her this is the, uh, the standard that UPS needs to train these people to make sure that they're safe and whatever and prepared to get out there and work and move packages at this rate. Um, one thing she told me was, she goes, I like your pace, your work pace. You're you're fast, but you're not blazing saddles fast. You're not ridiculous. I go, yeah, because I go, I'm going to be here five hours. I'm not going to kill myself. She goes, yeah, no, you're working at a great pace. She goes, you're sweating, but you're not you know you know i'm like yeah i'm not a stress monster i'm not going to kill myself but i will work fast and i will do my job and, and i will work as hard as i need to work in order to get the job accomplished in a safe way uh without being slow and so she said that was one of the problems that she had with the the people that she's training the new people she goes she's been since she's been at this hub and been a supervisor train supervisor she says a lot of the people that she's um training are um, slow they're very slow that's what she was saying they're slow they're lazy and so forth and I was like wow really she goes yeah she goes they're really really like ridiculously slow like beyond what what they should be and she's like it's pretty bad and I was like I was like wow that's something else I didn't know that she goes yeah it's she goes it's unfortunate she goes but I have to train them as best as I can. And she's like, my manager is, and I know him, he's a good dude. She goes, my manager here is on me about that because he expects them to be at a certain standard. And she's like, honestly, they're not at the standard. She's like, she's like, like how many trailers do you do in a shift? And I go about four, sometimes five. And, she, and I'm like, as many as six, like today I did, today I did five. So she goes, my, my people will do one 53 foot trailer but her shift is shorter they do four and a half hours um so she goes sometimes we do four and a half hours sometimes we do four hours they they just day sort is just a shorter sort we're expected to be there five hours sometimes six so we like today i was there five and a half hours or something like that um for day sort that doesn't happen they they don't get that much volume of stuff so um she's like we're there four hours or four hours and 15 minutes typically sometimes four hours and 30 minutes she goes and my guys will only knock out one 53 footer and then start working on another one and then it's time to go home and they've only done that she goes, she goes they're they're really slow she goes they need a lot of incentive to work faster so she's like it's challenging for me she goes because we're not allowed to yell or you know tell them tell them to work faster we have to have incentives to get them to, to move faster she goes but the pressure is on her as the supervisor to make sure things are sorted in a timely manner and in a safe manner and all that and i'm like yeah you can have that i'm not doing that job being a babysitter but god bless them they're you know supervisors at ups they do a good job they're all professionals and they have to do what they have to do she was just giving me a little insight as to what it's like to be in her shoes. And I was like, I'm glad you told me that, but I wasn't interested in becoming a supervisor anyway. And she said they approached her after she had been with the company for about four months. And they said, hey, you've been here for four months and your attendance is good and you're a good worker. Do you 
would you like to go into supervision? And I've seen them do that to other people around me. And I know my time is coming. They've kind of suggested it towards me because like, you're a Marine and you know about giving orders and taking orders and all that. And I'm like, I want to be a driver. I'm not, I'm not going into supervision. I don't want to be in management. It's just, it's just not for me. I, don't want, I, love, I love UPS, but I just don't want to be in management or supervision. But I respect that, that they have a job and I respect what they do and I have no problem with them. There's no supervisor there that I have an issue with. They're hard, most of them are really cool, actually. I've, I've had a good rapport with the majority. I'm mean, just like 99% of them, really. And uh, so that's what happened today. I worked in the unload area inside the trailers. It was hot. I was sweaty, which I have no problem with. I was loving that, too, because I get to drink my water and... Um, and um, lose weight. So anyway, that's that's today's story. Hope you find it interesting. Not a lot of information about um, the driver helper stuff. I can't. It's hard to find anybody who really has any definitive stuff to say about it. I'm waiting for that email or the feedback. I saw my hub manager, my the big the guy that runs everything, the main 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 guy. He was on vacation, so he was back today, which is cool. I was able to pick his brain, and I asked him about it and he goes he goes uh i just got back from vacation today's my first day back so he goes i don't know i'll find out and i'll get back with you he goes you know you're here all week obviously today's monday and i said yeah so he goes um i'll get back to you and let you know what the deal is when you report what what you're gonna what's expected of you and and when is it starting because like they said be ready by October 1st, which is this week. It's like Thursday or Friday of this week is the first. But it doesn't mean that it's going to start on the first. It just means be ready that maybe you can start on the first or whatever. But Or, or maybe we're going to go through some kind of training or something. But they're getting us ready now because it's about to be October. Because November is when it's really peak, peak, peak. November, December, January, boom. So I don't know. Sometime soon, but I'll let you guys know. Let me order my food. I'm starving. I'm going to eat and crash out thanks for watching today was a good sort i'm just tired peace